We're going to do something a little different this week. We're going to build a grounding sensory toolkit together. A sensory toolkit is a small box or bag where you keep a few items that you can use to help you ground when you have difficult days. This has been so helpful for me. You can put into your toolkit whatever you want. It can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. You may want to have a big one to keep at home and another one that's portable so you can take it with you out into the world. So before we begin, let's start with our mindful belly breathing. Breathe slowly in through your nose, your belly naturally pushing out as you inhale to a count of five. Hold your breath for a count of one. Then slowly exhale out of your mouth. Your belly should naturally move in as you exhale to a count of five. Do this five times. So in building the toolkit, you may find one or two senses to be more helpful than others. Most people already have developed sensory grounding resources without even realizing that that's what they're doing. For example, using soothing music. So think about some things that have helped you already and build on them. See if you can find strategies that help with overactivated trigger states like anger, panic, and anxiety, as well as ones that help with underactivated trigger states, numbness, depression, and disassociation, which is that disconnected feeling from yourself. So here's a list of possible items to place in your toolkit. So things you can see. Images or photos of a few people, places, or pets that bring about positive feelings or memories. You could put in an image or a picture of art with soothing colors. Notes with meaningful quotes or affirmations. A snow globe or a glitter jar. And I'll have a link to how to make your own in the show notes and on my website. Flameless color changing candles. So for sound, you could have some earbuds or noise canceling headphones. A calming playlist with music, meditations, stories, nature sounds. A tiny music box. Any small instrument such as chimes, a xylophone, a triangle, a small drum, anything that creates a sound that's soothing for you. Items for touch. They should be soft and squeezable. Stuffed animals, and lots of people love squishmallows. I actually have a very soft teddy bear that I use. A body pillow. A weighted blanket. Craft feathers or pom-poms. Next, you can add some things that are manipulatable with your fingers. You can move them in your fingers. They could be a beaded necklace or a bracelet, fidget toys, putty or plasticine, so think silly putty, play-doh or modeling clay, and pipe cleaners. Some items for temperature changing hand warmers, a heating pad, cooling lotion or salve with peppermint or menthol, a gel eye mask that you keep in the fridge, and instant cold packs. Next, for scent, you could have essential oils, 
calming and soothing scents like lavender, vanilla, sandalwood, energizing scents like citrus, eucalyptus, and peppermint, scented lotion, bubble bath or bath bombs. You could even use scratch and sniff stickers. Things for taste, gum, mints, tea bags, sour candies, lollipops, even flavored fizzy water, something that you can really taste in your mouth. So some other items you can add to your toolbox. These are just additional ideas. For me, I love oriental design items. So in my toolkit, I have an oriental fan that I can flip open and fan my face. I like the sound and the movement. They're inexpensive. On Amazon, they start at like $6 and up. You could try an activity like building blocks. This is another sensory motor exercise that can be soothing. Have a small set to include in your toolkit if you like. A bubble wand. Blowing bubbles is a great sensory tool that also supports you in slowing your breath. Try making lots of little bubbles or a big one. Watch them float away and try to catch or pop a few in the air. Use your imagination and include anything that appeals to you. This should even be fun. This is your toolkit and it should speak to you and your heart and what it is that you need. So you might like to just simply have your toolkit handy and grab a few items that are calling to you in the moment. You can also use a variation of the 5-4-3-2-1 grounding technique. And this is a basic grounding technique that you know we've talked about in the past and I've described. So using non-judgmental awareness, so don't think too hard about what you're feeling, you can orient each sense to items in your toolbox. For example, you could name each item out loud or in your head. You could maybe note one descriptive attribute of each item. So for example, you might say blue picture, soft blanket, minty lotion, and so on. So moving further using the 54321 technique, with the items in your toolbox, you can name out five things that you see that are in your toolbox. Name four things you can touch. Name three things you can hear. Name two things you can smell. And name one thing you can taste. You can go as slow as you like and try repeating it a few times using different items. Again, this is all you, this is all for you, so you do this in any way you choose. 